Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash, live via Holland. Jacob, one of the believers had a question. Do you regard Gabriel's encounters with Muhammad in the Islamic holy test, text any differently than the Gabriel recorded in the Judaic and Christian text? Absolutely, but first of all, let's put it in the broader context. In Galatians chapter 2, we read the following. Let no one keep defrauding you of your prize by delighting in self-abasement and the worship of angels, taking a stand on visions he has seen, inflated without cause by his carnal mind, not holding fast to the head, which of course is Christ, from whom the whole body, being supplied and held together by the joints and ligaments, grows with the growth which is from God. People who base their doctrine on angelic visitation. In the book of Revelation, angels were messengers who were guides. In the book of Daniel, they were messengers who were guides. They explained visions, prophecies, revelations, but they were not the issuers of them. When you read the seven churches of Revelation, they were simply the messengers. The messenger came from God to Christ through the angel, to the churches. When you see people taking their stand on an angelic vision, it's what Colossians chapter 2 is warning about. Now let's understand this. Mormonism with Moroni, Seventh-day Adventism with uh, Ellen G. White, Islam claiming Gabriel in a cave with Mohammed, these things are what we are told defraud you. They defraud people. They take their stand on a vision they've seen, inflated without cause in their fleshly mind. It becomes a matter of ego and spiritual pride that is deluding, but it's not under the true headship of Christ and will some way result in the veneration of the angel, be it Moroni, or whoever. It's a pattern. You see it in Mormonism, in Seventh-day Adventism, you see it in Islam, you see it in various cults. We never take our stand on a claimed angelic vision. There were reasons for this. Remember Paul warns in Galatia, if even an angel of God comes with another gospel, don't believe it. Well, Islam claims that the Quran is the Third Testament, the Old, the New, and the Quran, directly contrary to what it states in both the First Testament and the Second, that there'll be no further testament Islam claims to be. It defrauds people. It claims to have an angelic source, but it contradicts what Jesus said and what Moses said. It contradicts the Scripture. It's another gospel. Islam has a different way of salvation or proposed salvation, even though its focus is not even salvation. This is Islam. This is Mormonism. It's wrong. The real Gabriel from the Magnificat with Mary and from the book of Daniel is not what is claimed in Islam. Gabriel, Gabriel, the Mighty One of God, is associated with national Israel in some way. He comes to Mary, a Jewess. He comes to Daniel and explains prophecies concerning Israel and the Jews vocally in the book of Daniel. He has nothing to do with other nations except insofar as how they relate to Israel and the Jews. He's out of character with the Biblical Gabriel. The Biblical Gabriel gave no text, no scripture. Gabriel only explained texts. When he came to Mary, he explained Isaiah 7.14, a virgin shall conceive. When he came to Daniel, he explained what God had shown Daniel. He explains he does not issue holy writ. 
This is completely false. The idea of angelic vacation. The word of God is never the word of an angel. It is the word of God himself. Either it's something God wrote himself, as with the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments, or it is something God, by his Spirit, inspired the biblical authors to write, such as the apostles and Moses and the Hebrew prophets. It is not an angelic function. There is no relationship between the pretended apparition of Gabriel in Islam and the Gabriel of the book of Daniel and the gospel of St. Luke. None. It is a demonic counterfeit. It never happened. The Sabbatarian angel that supposedly appeared to Ellen G. White. It's all bogus. It is exactly what Colossians 2 warns about and against. It is exactly what Galatians chapter 1 warns about and warns against. No, it is not true. Yes, it is entirely different. It is not the real Gabriel. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Dear friends, greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.